Hello, welcome to this edition of Electric TV. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano, where today we're coming to you from inside one of the most iconic locker rooms in all of sports. Whether you're a fan of Notre Dame football or not, I think you'll agree that the team is synonymous with athletic excellence and a strong and proud history. Well, the university is at it once again, this time embarking on its largest construction project ever. And the Nika IBEW team is on the job. Part one of our two-part story focuses on perhaps the university's most historic and well-known facility, Notre Dame Stadium. 750,000 square feet of new teaching, research, and performance space are currently under construction at a price tag of $400 million. Certainly one of the largest projects the university has ever done. It's an exciting project to uh, add to the legendary football stadium. It's called the Crossroads Project. That is the uh, football stadium, uh, additions to the house that Rockney built, two nine-story buildings, and I believe a six-story building. Certainly an interesting, eye-catching project. Eye-catching because of the sheer size and because it's a project with a very thin line between tradition and modernization, between not forgetting where you came from and not afraid to find new roads. That's certainly Notre Dame's history to have been known for its sports and in particular football, but I think their goal is to be seen as a premier undergraduate and research university. The university wants to try to get students more involved closer to this, the uh, stadium, and part of that is classrooms here in this building and the next building across the, the stadium here. Kuntz Wagner is involved. Uh, we're doing the south building here. We also are doing some work direct for the university um, as one of their preferred providers, we do all of the high voltage distribution work on campus. So we extend the high voltage distribution to this project. We'll be setting all of the main distribution gear, uh, transformation. They're also doing the low voltage installation for the broadcast, uh, security, and uh, audio visual. Good job. Safety is top priority. Um, main things they're looking for is make sure you pick up after yourself, keep things nice and neat, you know, do a day's work. This is the ninth floor here. They have uh, box seats, and part of it also is the, the press box area, too. They moved the press box from the west side to the east side, and then they also have a lot of the mechanicals are up on this, this top floor as well. So a lot of things going on in this floor. Running a uh, three-quarter inch conduit over, coming off of the home runs to certain areas, setting boxes so we can later on pick up the outlets and the lights and whatever needs to be powered up. We're also changing out the uh, all the, the lights for the night games. It's gonna be all LED. There's approximately 500 construction workers out here, union construction workers out here right now. And that's probably gonna amp up a little bit more. It's gonna be close to 1,000 by the time they get going full, full strength. 1,000 skilled, trained, safe union workers. It's been that way for a long time here, and there's no reason to deviate from that approach, says Notre Dame. They realize that to achieve greatness, excellence needs to be a foundation for everything, including its approach to construction. The University of Notre Dame uh, uses 100% union workers for all of their construction and maintenance projects. This is our best customer. We have bigger jobs occasionally, but year in and year out, the majority of our work hours comes from work on this campus. It's sort of a three-legged stool. I mean, you need the customer, you need the, the labor force, but you also need the contractor, and you've got to have a strong rapport with all three of them. I find that the construction standards here are, uh, are A number one. Uh, they do not cut corners. Uh, they want it done right. They build 100-year buildings, not 50-year buildings. All successful relationships are win-win-win in this case. Um, so, I mean, I think it's very important to us. We, we certainly provide a lot of opportunity for the contractors and, and the IBEW members. They provide us a quality product in a timely manner at a, at a reasonable price. It's great to see contractors driving through here with the NECA logo on them. So, um, and as you can see, it's just, uh, the projects are everywhere. I spent all my career uh, in the electrical field and most of it here at the university. Uh, the whole time working with members of the IBEW. Great workforce, quality people. I've always been a big fan of Notre Dame. Uh, growing up six blocks away, and my, uh, my grandfather used to bring me to all the games, 
Um, every Saturday, we come out and hit the games when I was younger, and then it was just uh, fate, I guess, basically employed out here for the last 22 years. I'm actually a graduate of Notre Dame. I graduated with bachelor's and master's degrees in electrical engineering, so it's kind of near and dear to my heart. We feel it's a privilege to be out here. Uh, you know, we kind of feel like it's part of our family, and uh, we always want to do a great job for them so that we can continue being out here. This will be utilized year-round. If you want to have meetings overlooking the University of Notre Dame football field, those will certainly be available. If you want to get married, I believe you can make that happen. So it will be uh, utilized year-round rather than just during the fall. That's all for this edition. Thanks for the click. Remember to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information. From the University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame Stadium, I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time. Like what you've just seen? Click any of the buttons on the right and they'll instantly play. Click to visit us on our social media accounts, subscribe to our website or our YouTube channels. Stay engaged by staying connected to ETV.